Hello, this is Dave Muir from Skyway Software. And in this screencast, I'll show a brief overview of the scaffolding feature in my Eclipse for Spring 8.6. But first, let's take a quick step back and define scaffolding. So scaffolding is the ability to generate full or major portions of an application from a minimal set of inputs. And in the case with my Eclipse for Spring, the inputs can either be database tables, plain old Java beans, or JPA entities. And then by going through an easy to use wizard, you can take those inputs and generate either partial or an entire ready to run Spring MVC, Spring Webflow, Google Web Toolkit, iPhone, or Adobe Flex application. So to quickly demonstrate this capability, I'll use the employee and office table in the classic car schema of, of the integrated MyEclipse Derby database to create a web application with these five front end options. So to do that, I'll start by creating a new web project, and we'll name it the office. And then because I'm scaffolding GWT, I'm going to add the Google tooling. So right click, select Google, and go to Web Toolkit Settings. Check the Use Google Web Toolkit box, and then I'm going to choose that this project has a word directory, and select Web Root. I'll then go directly to the scaffolding wizard by right-clicking the project, going to My Eclipse, and choosing Scaffold Spring CRUD Application. I'm presented with the Select Artifact Types pane, which asks me which inputs I want to use for scaffolding, so I can use Java Beans, JPA Entities. In this case, I'll use a database schema. I'll choose the database uh, My Eclipse Derby, and then I'll choose Classic Car Schema and bring over the Employee and Office tables for scaffolding. The next pane asks me which uh, objects to use as parents. So I'm going to select all. I can also change the name of the Java object in this pane. And then I'm presented with a pane that allows me to customize the application layers and packages. And I'm just going to select org.acme. And the rest will be filled out automatically. The next pane is where I'm, uh, I can choose all of the, or some of the web client types. So I'm going to go ahead and choose all of them. Spring MVC, Spring Webflow, Adobe Flex, Google Web Toolkit, and iPhone. At this point, I can go ahead and click Finish, but I'll just go through the rest of the optional wizard pane. So in this one, um, you can change the Flex SDK uh, from the one that's bundled in My Eclipse for Spring 8.6. In the next pane, I can uh, choose to customize the user interface by showing um, or not showing certain fields on the list view of the runtime application, changing the uh, n display name of the fields, or using this picker column in the GWT application uh, to specify what's di displayed when I go to uh, pick the child-parent relationship. I'll go ahead and click Next, and this is where I can select the target folders, choose Spring 3.0, decide to use the Spring Nature or not, and then I'm um, shown a summary pane. I'll just go ahead and click Finish. Once scaffolding is complete, and since I scaffold GWT, I need to go to the Google tooling and select GWT Compile. I want to uh, remove all the entry point modules except for GWT CRUD and then go ahead and click compile. So when GWT compilation is successful, the project is ready to run on the integrated My Eclipse Tomcat server. So right click the project, select run as, and choose My Eclipse server application. Once Tomcat has started, you can right click on the project and open in browser. And then you're presented with a dashboard with all five options to go in and view the different um, front ends. So I'm going to go in and take a look at Spring MVC. You can see that all the CRUD operations are here, as well as the related objects in their CRUD operations. The same goes for Spring Webflow and Adobe Flex. We can take a look and see the different components that are used in Flex as well as GWT. Now for iPhone, all you need is a, a browser with an iPhone user agent. Just copy and paste the URL shown in the dashboard and either paste it into this browser or use something like Moby One and then you could see the different CRUD operations here. Since this was a very quick overview of scaffolding, please take a look at all the other resources we have online.